Now we're going to learn how to do percent of a number. Percent of a number. Uh, you're going to see problems like this quite a bit in your math as you get up into the higher grades in school. Say 20% of 50. How would you find 20% of 50? Well, the first thing you need to know is that the word of means multiply in math. So we'll put an x there meaning multiply. Some of you might be using the dot to mean multiply. 20% uh, means 20 out of 100. And the way I remember that is that there's two little zeros there and there's two zeros in 100. So 20% is the same thing as 20 out of 100. 20 out of 100 can be written also as 20 hundredths. There's 20 hundredths right there. And we're, so we're trying to find what 20 hundredths of or times 50 is. Well, if you know how to multiply decimals, we're going to take 50 times 0 0.20 to solve this. And then we'll, if you'd like to, you can multiply 50 times 0 and get 0 here. Of course, that's a meaningless step. And then put our placeholder down here and do 0 times 2 is 0. 5 times 2 is 10. And because there's two spots after the decimal point in the problem, there needs to be two spots after the decimal point in the answer. So our decimal point placement would be right here. We don't need to add the zeros to it. And our answer is 10.00 or 10. Now a simpler way to solve that would be to know that this zero right here is meaningless. It does not have any value in the number 0.20. 20 hundredths is the same thing as 2 tenths. So I could simply solve this problem by doing 50 times 0 0.2. 0 times 2 is 0. 5 times 2 is 10. Because there's one number past the decimal in the problem, I need to have one number past the decimal in the answer, and I get the same answer of 10. Let's try a couple more. They don't really get any harder than that. The multiplication gets a little harder, but you do the same thing every single time you do percent of a number. What if we have, we want to have 25% uh, of 80? How would we solve that problem? Well, 25% again means 25 out of 100, which is the same thing as 25 hundredths times 80. So now we can solve that by doing 80 times 0.25. 0 times 5 is 0, 8 times 5 is 40, and now we need a placeholder. We're going to multiply by 80 times 0.2 next, 0 times 2 is 0, 8 times 2 is 16, and now we're going to add these up, 0, carry, and so we get 2, 0, 0, 0. We have two numbers past the decimal point in the problem, so we need two numbers past the decimal point in the answer. So the answer becomes 20 to this. Now there is a little easier way to solve this uh, than doing all this work here, and that would be to switch your numbers around and put the 0.25 on the top and the 80 on the bottom. The reason we want to do that is that this number 80 ends in a 0. So all we have to do is put a 0 down as a placeholder for that, and then we can multiply 8 times 5 is 40, carry the 4, 2 times 8 is 16, plus 4 is 20. Much quicker process. There's two numbers past the decimal point in the problem, two numbers past the decimal point in the answer. All right, let's try one that gets a little bit harder. <clears throat> what if we want to find 65% of 300? How would we do that? Well, again, 65% is the same thing as 0.65, and so we're going to multiply that times 300. And like you saw in the last problem, because of these zeros on the end, I'd rather put that number on the bottom of my equation and put the 0.65 on the top of the equation. Since you see the two zeros sitting there, we know the answer is going to end with two zeros, so I can just put those down here and then go ahead and multiply the rest of it. 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1. 
6 times 3 is 18, plus 1 is 19. And I have two numbers past the decimal point in my problem, two numbers past the decimal point in my answer. So the answer is 195. So 65% of 300 is 195. Now we'll do one that gets a little bit more complicated. What if we want to find 38% of 276? Wow. Now we're going to have to be able to do a little bit more difficult multiplication, but again, the process is the same. 38% is the same thing as 0.38 of times 276. So now we're going to multiply 276 times 0.38. We're going to need a little more room to do that one. I'm going to go ahead and put the 0.38 right down below here. So first we're going to do 6 times 8 is... 48. 7 times 8 is 56, plus 4 is 60. 2 times 8, 16 plus 6, is 22. I like to scribble out my carries so that I don't accidentally use them the next time that I go through the problem. And I'm going to put the 0 down for the placeholder because now we're moving over to the second place. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry the 1. 7 times 3. 21 plus 2 is 22. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2 is 8. And now I add my digits together and I get 8, 8, 4, and then 10 at the end. Again, I've got two numbers past the decimal point, so I move the decimal point over two spots and my answer is 104.88. What if we have to find 7% of 3.9? Exact same process, but keep in mind that 7% is not 0.7 or 0.70. That's 70%. 7% means 7 out of 100, which is 0 0.07. You say that number as 7 hundredths. So we're going to find 7 hundredths times 3.9. Put 0 0.07 down here. 9 times 7 is 63. Carry the 6. 3 times 7, 21. Plus 6, 27. And on this one, notice there's 1, 2, 3 numbers past the decimal point in the problem. So we need three numbers past the decimal point in our answer. One, two, three. Decimal point goes right there. So my answer is 0.273, or 273 thousandths. Well, that'll do it for today for finding percent of a number. I wish you the best.